Welcome to the lesson on importing libraries and dataset. So let's start pulling the machine learning model. I will provide you with the link to this folder. You can download this folder as a zip file. You can use this file path to import the dataset, and you can start working on it. Let's go to our Jupyter Notebook. Let's start solving this machine learning problem. So, here this dataset contains several medical predictor variables and one target variable. Let's see the description. The goal is to build a machine learning model to predict whether a patient has diabetes or not. What is machine learning model? A model in machine learning is the output of a machine learning algorithm run on data. A model represents what was learned by a machine learning algorithm. First, we have the pregnancies column, which is the number of times a person has become pregnant. I mean the person is female then, how many times she has become pregnant in her life. Next, we will check the plasma glucose concentration. Then we will check diastolic blood pressure, which is in mm. And then, we will check tricep skin fold thickness, which is skin thickness in mm. Then, we will check insulin, which is 2 hours of serum insulin. Then, we will check the body mass index BMI, which is in kgs. And then, we will check the diabetes pedigree function. And after that, we will check the age of that patient in years. Finally, we will check the outcome, whether the person has diabetes or not. Here in the outcome. We have two variables 0 and 1. And here, we can say that 268 people out of 768 people have diabetes which is 1, and the others are 0. We cannot misclassify the items. Suppose, if the person has diabetes, and you predict that, the person doesn't have diabetes, then the person will not take medication. So, we cannot take the risk because this comes under the health domain. As it is a health sector project, we require a big data set. Here the data set is small. Hence we cannot get an accurate result, but we will try to get a good prediction result in this model. The next step is to import all the required libraries. So let's import all the required libraries. We are importing NumPy as NP, Pandas as PD. We use NumPy and Pandas packages for data analysis and data cleaning. We are importing matplotlib.piplot as PLT, Seaborn as SNS. We use matplotlib and Seaborn for data visualization. We are importing plot decision regions. Plot decision regions is a function for plotting decision regions of classifiers in one or two dimensions. We are importing missing NO as MSNO. We can visualize missing values and N values using missing NO library. We are importing various other libraries from sklearn. Scikit-learn is a machine learning package. We are also importing grid search CV. Grid search is used to find the optimal hyperparameters of a model which results in the most accurate predictions. We are importing classification report, confusion underscore matrix, and k-nearest neighbors. k-nearest neighbors is a simple classification algorithm. We use classification reports to compare classification models. We use a confusion matrix to find the performance of a model. Let's rerun the cell. So we have imported all the required libraries. I think you have completed your machine learning course. So you might be aware of all these terms, used here. Let's run the cell. Now, we will import the dataset. I will show the path of the file on the computer. Here you can see dataset CSV file location. Copy this file path, and paste it here in the Jupyter Notebook. Now, we need to import the dataset. We use the read underscore CSV method, to load the dataset. Then we will run the cell. We have imported the dataset, and stored it in the pandas data frame diabetes underscore df. Let's check the top 5 rows of the data frame. We have saved this, in diabetes underscore df. Use the dot head method, to check the top 5 samples, from the data frame. So here we have pregnancies, glucose, blood pressure, skin thickness. We have insulin. We have a BMI. We have diabetes pedigree function. We have an age. And finally, we have the outcome. Here 1 means yes, and 0 means no.